This is the beginning of my channel four months ago. Uh, when I reflect back on things, it seems a long time ago. I certainly had different intentions when I set up this channel. It was to provide as much information on, a, on the widest range of topics that I could and to introduce my own personal experiences that, um, yes, only as each of us can do, tell from our own perspective. And as I went through, I started to, uh, well, I encountered Max Egan before I started uploading on this channel. And then I started to question Max Egan very quickly. And well, the thing that raised the alarm bells was when I saw him promoting Nightcap on Minjimble. And it was Max Egan that um, instigated my curiosity. What's he talking about? Because this was a place that was, well, just down the road from where I used to live and I was curious. So I looked into it and the more I looked into it, you know, I I just thought, well, you know, they're attempting to do a good thing there, so yeah, I'm not going to say too much. But then the more and more that started to come out, the things that were said, and the last video that Max said, uh, when he did it with um, Gunham and AB out at that lookout, uh, he said, one of the last things he said is, I trust these guys. Now, you know, <laughs> that just sort of sent it, yeah, a little bit, or oh, that's like an overkill there. So, yes, I did look into it more and more, and I started researching Max, and uh, yes, there are a lot of questions about this guy that presented himself in real life as Max Egan and uh, yes I've got a new channel <laughs> I'll tell you what it's called in a minute but I'll get to that anyway um, so yes as I started to get deeper and deeper into what Max Egan had first brought up I don't think that uh, well I didn't pick this cause it picked me it fell into my lap and once I saw what I saw I can't unsee it and I can't sit back and do nothing about it. That's just not the kind of person I am to sit back and do nothing. So I started bringing in a few more videos trying to expose it and still trying to mix a bit of other stuff in there because, you know, I know that not everybody's interested in what's going on in this one area. And then all of a sudden, it's just, that's all my focus is. Because it's a fairly big issue. And yes, I am bringing all those things together. I've got enough information now. I'm comfortable with the information that I have. The attempts that I've made to contact other peoples so that I can honestly say, yes, I have endeavoured to contact them and this is the result or no result or whatever. So I am preparing everything to go together to uh, put it into the hands of the authorities, so to speak. But the reason I bring this up is because, well, this um, Dick of the Year award for Adrian Brennock, that's an up a re-upload because <laughs> that got banned for defamation. Do you believe that? The twerp had the audacity to get a ban for defamation. It was his own words. But, yeah, same happened with this one. This is a re-upload too because, yes, defamation claim on it. I mean, that is all AB, you know. How can that be defamatory in any way? You know, I mean, is he defaming himself? Or is he confessing? But you can't call it defamation if it's true. And you can't call it defamation if it's coming out of your own mouth. Seriously. <laughs> but, you know, this is how desperate they are grasping at straws. 
I dare say that this, given that I'm a, a predator cunt, that that'll probably come down too. That's probably defamatory, <laughs> even though it's his own words. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and it's very entertaining uh, to see, like, every time I look at how many people have um, not liked the video, it disappoints me when I don't see that one that comes along. It's like, oh, have you missed out? So, but anyway, I can still actually bring up, this is why I had to go to a different logon and everything to see what anyone else would see. You won't see this. You'll see um, it's been removed because of a defamation complaint. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I find it really amusing that this twit actually has got a nerve, any of them, to turn around and say it's defamation. It comes out of his own mouth. It's not defamation, you dickheads. But anyway, um, I have to, uh, I c as you can see, I can still see this. And I was, uh, this is what happened with the last one. I could still see it and I was confused and I thought, hang on, I'll go to a different log on where I don't have the connections. And sure enough, looking from outside of the channel perspective, nobody can see any of this. So um, I was reading the comments that Oz Fishkeeper had left and I was, I was thinking, yeah, he wants to go for Dick of the Week award, but you know, I don't really want to give him that much attention. He's already... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, anyway, the reason I'm bringing, uh, highlighting this is because All for the Planet has commented that Oz, Oz Fishkeeper is Imon Charles Lowe. So someone said that Oz Fishkeeper is Imon Charles Lowe. And then looking at the kind of talk and everything like that, it's like, well, yeah, could be him. Could be AB, could be Gunham, you know, they've all got the same kind of, you know, stupidity, but they have different ways of doing it. You know, like, I like this one here, and your lesbian lover, Jenny Lunatic. <laughs> He's commenting to Jenny. Um, uh, Jenny, what are you doing? Uh, with yourself. <laughs> oh, I hope you're having fun doing it. <laughs> That's actually not called lesbian, mate. <laughs> you should get that right. But anyway, this is the second time I've seen this idiot bring up the fact about... Um, so he came up with this idea that Jenny's daughter's name is Kim because she's got the same last name. And this Kim is going through an ATSIC investigation and all this other stuff. And so he keeps accusing her. And even though Jenny's told him heaps of times, you know, it's not me and that's not my daughter, he doesn't believe it. So then he gets down to here and, oh, go Jelly, love it. Yeah, he is such an idiot, isn't he? So, Kimberly, that isn't her daughter, has um, gone through this stuff in Western Australia, I think it is, anyway. Yeah, so this is Jenny's daughter here, telling this idiot that, <laughs> funny she doesn't have the same surname as mum. Yeah, isn't it funny how most girls don't because when they get married, they take on their husband's name. <laughs> Pretty common that, but, you know, I think Oz Fishkeeper, if it is Emon Lowe, maybe he's been doing too much coke and his brain's fried, eh? There's no brain cells up there left to think and that's why you get what you get. I don't know. Maybe it's not coke, maybe it's ice. Maybe he's the one up there doing all the ice cooking at uh, Nightcap on Minjimbo, eh? Because uh, he certainly wasn't named in that post from Gunham about all the ice cooking going on up there. And if there was ice cooking going on up there that he dobbed people in with the cops, why would the cops escort them off the property and not take them to jail? <laughs> yeah, 
you're doing some nice stuff up there, aren't you, boys? Hmm? I'll cook a nice. And seriously, you should stop doing it. It does kill too many brain cells off. And it kills them quicker than the, you know, the old drugs they used to have 10, 20, 30 years ago. These ones are going to kill them off even quicker. So the fact that you're actually thinking you're getting smarter and you're outsmarting everyone, you're actually getting dumber because you're fucking your brains with the shit you're taking. So, yeah. So anyway, back to um, Jenny's daughter who says that she hasn't lived in the area for 41 years. She doesn't live in Perth or own a company. None of this stuff. I love this. This is a, a classic saying. Couldn't organise a root in a brothel. Yep. Couldn't organise a piss up with a bunch of drunks in a brewery either. <laughs> you go, girls. You put this idiot in his place, this Oz fish keeper. Yeah, I think it's in your name, mate. It's very, very fishy. And actually, speaking of names, let me show you my new one. Okay, this is my new channel. <laughs> I decided to call it Not A Real Name to point out the obvious to the idiots that keep going, oh, crystalline geometry, and in brackets, not a real, a fake name. It's not a real name. It's like, are you serious? Yeah, so, yeah, I thought I'd make it really obvious for all those ones that actually thought that I was trying to take on some hippy-dippy identity because I happened to name a channel away. So um, I've named this not a real name so that you can actually say, you know, in brackets now, not a real name and then in brackets put a fake name. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, it's kind of redundant to state the obvious, but... There are some people that, uh, as I just said, you know, they've killed off too many brain cells. They can't do too much thinking. So this is going to be my new channel. I'm going to start up... Oh, that's bright. I'm going to start uploading uh, videos to this one. And yes, every video I do, I'm going to upload to here as well. They took off my other strike. You know, I exp that expired and I'm back to one, but... Yeah, you'll never know what tomorrow holds. I mean, if you think you've got it all sorted out, you know, I think you may be too young and haven't lived long enough to realise that just when you think you've got it all figured out, someone's going to throw a spanner in the works. So you're better to be just going with the flow and see what happens. <laughs> now, one last thing I just wanted to advise further on is that next week I will be having discussions with regards to the tribal law issues and claims that have been made in the area where Nightcap on Minjimbo has been set up. It has certainly created a lot of debate from people. And there are other issues that um, will be brought up as well when I have been given the decision as to how the matter will be handled. Uh, until that time, I am not going to comment any further. But there is certainly a lot of facets going on in what is coming out about this nightcap on Minjimble. In the two voxes that have just come out that you've heard, you've heard how AB uses Gunham to get the tribal elders to sign documents to support their cause. Not the tribal cause. I dare say the sales pitch is that it's for tribal reasons. But if they heard that vox of AB saying that, look, yes, it's because I want to protect my house and if we can put a tribal claim on it and it goes to the high court, well then anything that comes through now, we can attach to that and tie it up under tribal native claim or sovereignty or whatever he's going to try and use someone else's culture to fuck people over again. And he's doing it really badly to a lot of the elders. A lot of them do not 
live in the modern world as we know it. They choose to keep more of their traditional ways and they don't expose themselves to a lot of this shit that goes on in the world. And to that sense, they are naive to the kind of manipulators like these ones, like Mark McMurtry and and like A.B. And, oh, what I've heard about Derek Zillman. I don't know about Philip Dixon so much, but you know what? He and Cherie Stokes are behind all of these to begin with, and they've all got their fingers. Yes, there's a, there's a group of them. And I've narrowed the field down of who the top players are and who the ones are that, well, got thrown under the bus. The ones that are probably going to get thrown under the bus that are expendable. And the ones, the ones that don't know that's what's going on are the ones that do and have also aided in the past and currently. Uh, there's an interesting thing too that I didn't bring it up in past videos when I've talked about the Freedom Summits and who all the people were that were members of Nightcap on Minjimbook. And the reason I didn't bring it up is because, um, well, his name had never come up, but it's there. Philip um, Morandini was also a speaker at the Freedom Summits and he's also a member of Nightcap on Minjimbal. He's not talked about very much, but he is still currently a member. And there are some things that I have um, heard and read in statements that people have said about him. So there are a lot of people to identify in certain scenarios. There are some people that don't live on the property, but are still very heavily invested in it. Uh, whether it be through company shares or maybe they're hoping that, you know, it will succeed. Or, and, these people also contributed to the, the activities that were against other people. And when I say that, I mean, you harm others. You know, look, it doesn't matter how many times you might turn around and say, I'm sorry to the law. You know, they don't care. You do the wrong thing, you pay for it. Now, I've lived my life that way. I do the wrong thing, I pay for it. You know, I don't want to put it off because the longer you put it off, the worse you're going to pay for it. So, you know, probably the best thing to do is to not do anything wrong in the first place. In fact, follow, do no harm. You do no harm. You can walk tall in your footsteps and know that you can know who you are, be proud of who you are, and that you do no harm. Yes, I know that some roads to hell are paved with good intentions. I've been on both sides of that. It's like no good turn goes unpunished. But in life, that's it, isn't it? It's all about yin and yang, black and white, duality. It's about understanding how to integrate both of those and live with it. It's not about focusing on, oh, look, let's love and light and forget all the shit. No, we need to deal with the shit because shit will come up. It does. We are human beings and we, we create differences because we have differences of opinion. But it's how those differences are handled that counts. You can have a different opinion. And, yeah, if you're going to come at me in a nasty way, I'm just going to be a smart ass. I'm not going to waste my time even trying having a conversation. Because, um, you know, a couple of years ago, I experienced flat earthers. And I decided, you know what? Anyone wants to come at me dribbling their shit in my face again, I'm not going to sit back and ignore it like everyone says. Oh, you know, take the high road and ignore it. No! You keep ignoring this shit, this is why we still got it. This is why the world is the way that it is, because you ignore it. No, someone says something stupid, call them out for it. Otherwise they get bigger and bigger, you know, their ego just won't fit through the door one day because no one told them they were an idiot. 
And seriously, we've all been called idiots. We all need to be told every now and again. You know, that's called tough love. <laughs> and it's tough luck if you don't like it. Because other people have got to live with you in this world. And if you're an asshole, well, you're going to end up in on an island on your own. You know, that's just the way it goes. So I think I've gone on uh, long enough now. I just wanted to bring a bit of an update and tell you that, uh, yes, there are more tribal law issues and more clarity that will come out. But as I said, once I have been handed the decision, um, I will let you know. And, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.